On this episode, we do one thing that I didn't want to do, is drop the transmission and change the clutch. And it's cold, and it's looks it's gonna start to rain, and California's weather is really weird right now, so let me put some gas in this thing, and we're gonna move it under a shed on the other side of the, the property, and we'll get started. Five gallons of gas later, and here we go. Let's, let's see if we can get this thing to bark off a little bit. There we go. We just ran out of gas. Oh, I'm such an idiot. All right, well, let's take this thing over to the other side. Here's all the parts we're gonna need. We have the clutch right here. We have the pressure plate. We have the throw up bearing. And we also have the pilot bushing up here. Um, to take the pilot bushing out, we have the bearing pull it right here, which we got from AutoZone, which you can always rent tools from if you don't have the tools, which I don't. So that came in handy. Uh, Harbor Freight special transmission jack. This is the cheapest thing possible. So hopefully it doesn't fall on me, which that would suck if it does. Initially, I came down here hoping that I wasn't gonna have to do anything. There's the slave cylinder this gigantic cast iron uh, transmission that I'm gonna have to drop but I looked at all this oil and right here that is a piece of the clutch so I know for a fact that the clutch is damaged and we're going to need to replace it first things first let's take off this speed sensor that you can see here or whatever this is take down the drive shaft we're gonna chalk the wheels so I don't get uh, run over and then we're gonna take the shifter off from up there and um, this slave cylinder and then we can get all this stuff out okay so first before I forget let's get this transmission jack underneath it so we can uh, move around and this thing's not just gonna fall on top of me so we need to be safe and this is the first thing we're gonna do conveniently this thing does come with a ratchet strap that you just throw over the top of the transmission and it'll hold it there uh, you just have to make sure that you really tighten it down over on the driver side or the passenger side of me, you know, on the other side of this thing, that way it doesn't shift around. It does come with a, I mean, it's a questionable strength of a ratchet strap, as you can see. It's like stamped steel or whatever. So it does look like it's, you know, strong enough. I mean, I didn't have any problems with it. So I would suggest this thing if you guys are doing something but always be weary and take all the necessary precautions to make sure that these things don't fall on you because if they do it's gonna be a very bad day i'm sure okay now that everything is cinched down as tightly as i can give it a few more um ugga duggas just to make sure that it's completely where it's supposed to be and then we can move on to uh, taking some of the bolts out from the bottom of this trans uh, cross member. These bolts look like they've never been touched in their life. So these are going to be pretty hard. But we have this one down here. We have two up there. These two right here, the two that are connected to the transmission. And we have the same amount of bolts on the passenger side that we're going to have to break loose. So hopefully this goes uh, smoother than... Uh, then not, you know, because I really don't want to be down here the whole day. I'm going to be using this air wrench that I found over here and the pile of other random tools that we have and a regular socket because I don't have the impact ones yet because I am a broke boy. So, I mean, if you want it to be black and, you know, impact rated or whatever, I'll paint the thing black later and it'll be perfectly fine. I do want to talk about why we're doing voiceover on this one. On this side of the house is where my dad has his shop. He's a welder and he makes a bunch of different things. And uh, it gets really noisy on this side and he does like to play his music. And since the welder's on and the grinder's on and chop saw and stuff like that, the music is pretty loud. And YouTube doesn't like for there to be like music in the background because of copyright rules and stuff like that. So in order to appease the, the old algorithm, this is how we're gonna do it. Aside from the YouTube reasons, this project was between me and my dad. We were working on it because this truck is gonna be for him. 
so you can drive around. And since me and Noy Dad were working on this project, I didn't want to shove a camera in his face and, you know, spoil the time that we have. So there are parts of the video that are going to be missing um, after we drop the transmission from that point to actually finishing. That content isn't there because I didn't record any of it because, you know, we're having a fun time talking and, you know, just screwing around. So the content is missing, but because I wanted to have a good quality, quality time with my dad. I, I was selfish and I wanted to spend time with my dad. So parts are missing out of this video. If you are out there working on your project car with uh, someone that you care about, Sometimes it's just better to just enjoy the time you have. Hope you guys understand, and let's continue on with this project. Okay, so now we got all the bolts out. We got these two, we got those two up there. There was a little frame thing that went here. We disconnected the transmission, and this is the frame thingy that we took out of the other side. So now that we got these things out, we can try to scoot this thing out and find out that it's not gonna actually go anywhere. So let's try to jack up the transmission a little bit. Maybe take out the shifter first. That way we can get this thing completely out of here and change out this clutch. All right, this is where we're at. This thing's strapped up. Starter's out. These bottom bolts are out. All the other bolts are out. So let's see if we can wiggle this thing free. All right, shifter's out. The way to get these things out is you get like a channel lock, pipe wrench or something, and you unscrew this piece from the top and then pop out. Just make sure you don't lose this little indicator pin right here. Let me show you what the problem was. Okay, at this point we took out all the transmission and we started seeing all these little chunks that were in there, including piece after piece of the clutch so we knew that the clutch was completely damaged and you'll see in the next little part how bad that it actually was. Uh, we're really fortunate that nothing bad happened but glad we're getting this fixed. I've been working all day on this thing. I finally took the clutch out. This is the old clutch, the original one. And I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to be like that. It looks pretty broken to me. So, put a new one in. 